Why is meeting feedback important? Meetings are the most prevalent process in business and also the most complained about. The biggest gripe tends to concern the amount of time they take up and the extent to which they use that time inefficiently. Many people see meetings as getting in the way of productive work, although this opinion is not so prevalent in those who run meetings, unless, of course, they are attending a meeting someone else is running. People don't intend to run ineffective meetings. They are simply largely unaware of the fact that they are, and the reason for this lack of awareness is that there is simply no data on meeting effectiveness. Most organisations would even struggle to tell you how much time is taken up in meetings, let alone how effective they are. They do not even know for sure whether the situation is getting better or worse. And this lack of data is the reason meetings do not improve. Statistically, meetings impact 50% of white-collar time, and they are less than 50% efficient. Fixing this issue represents an extra day a week to people who are in many cases increasingly busy, stretched and stressed. What could you do with an extra day a week? As a result of the business excellent movement, practically every other business process has improved dramatically over the last 50 years, but every single one of them has been improved as a result of data, which sort of explains why meetings haven't. So, the key question, do you want to measure the effectiveness of your own meetings? No matter how good or poor our meetings are, the truth is that they can always be improved. And as a collective fact, the anecdotal evidence should be pretty convincing on this. Furthermore, our own effectiveness in delivering our own roles depends on the extent to which people leave our meetings with a clear understanding, a commitment to deliver, and perhaps even an enthusiasm and energy to think outside the box. And if we are in a more senior role, understanding how meetings are used to cascade ideas and enthusiasm down through the levels of our organisation is key to delivering the culture and creativity we need to perform as a business. A simple tool which helps us to see where this has been achieved and where it has not can help us both fix things early and improve our approach for subsequent meetings. And even if our meetings are brilliant, adopting this approach as an example to our colleagues will help them to improve the meetings that are not so good and will create a new norm that will both improve the other meetings you attend and enhance their benefit. This will help to make your organisation not only be more successful, but to feel more successful as well. The meetings process desperately needs improvement. History demonstrates that we cannot sustainably improve any process without data. And if we can empower and inspire each individual to play their part in that improvement, the result will be much better than some central analysis which then tries to impose a universal solution. If we embrace the potential to measure our own meetings, we set in motion a new opportunity to learn and increase our personal effectiveness, and we create outcomes which can further enrich and empower the working lives of all around us. We can save time, increase creativity, and develop an environment which really brings out the best in people. That is why meeting feedback is important. <laughs>